please welcome our good friend and host of Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, Stephanie Arney. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. So nice to see you. So good now, to we're all you. being very quiet because you have baby animals. Yes. And we remember how to behave around them. So that's why yes. we're all very quiet. Mm -hmm. What do you have for us? So, our first animal doesn't look so much like a baby anymore, but he is actually a badger. A badger? Jeez. I know he doesn't look like a baby. He's a, he's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, they're known for being feisty, and the reason for that reputation is because they don't have the best vision. So when any animal comes near them, they kind of freak out a little sure. bit, and because they can smell something, they're like, "Okay, something's there." But whether it's a bear or a coyote or a snake, they're just like, "I smell you. I don't know where you are. I don't know how big you are." But hey, hey, and they they move really quickly, and they hiss, and they show their teeth, and they kind of look like a, a you know some some. Yeah, it sounds like my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, you know, they get that reputation for that, but really it's just for show. But they are still very tough. They're part of the mustelid family, so they're related to otters and wolverines. So they are still very good predators, or good, and they're super tough. And look at those nails. Can you yeah. touch the nails? I, is, you can do it. Okay. I believe in you. Wow, wow. Whoa. <laughs> Do you see that fast movement? Yeah, I did. You, your instincts, your fight or flight, hit you right there, and was just right, like, "Oh, watch out!" And that's I was what all their about goal the is, right? I'm not gonna fight that thing. Now, all right. what do we have next? So this, we're gonna try to. Do you want to hold yeah, this sure. for me? You hear that? Yes. Oh, it's so cute. I know they're so cute. So this is a baby ostrich, and believe it or not, they hatch out of these huge eggs. That's funny. Amazing. Yeah, they're the largest flightless bird and they have the largest eggs on the planet and actually they've adapted and evolved to be very thick so that predators like uh, a monkey, for example, if it tried to get this, first of all, it'd be really heavy, but they wouldn't be able to break into That's it amazing. and that is a survival technique. And the babies hatch and there's like 60 of them 60. and one male will babysit all of them where all no the girls way. will go out and shopping for Louis Vuitton. So how, 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 how tall will, will, will this animal oh, get? Oh, over eight feet tall. Eight feet tall. Yeah, that, so they're the tallest flightless bird in the world. It's incredible. Yeah, but Absolutely. they start off, believe it or not, this tiny and adorable. We feel so lucky to be able to see one this, this tiny. What do you have next for us? All right. So this is the second largest of the rodent species, the first being the capybara, and then we have beaver, porcupine. Uh, so that's a beaver. So this is an actual beaver, and she's quite young. She's only six months old. Do you hear her noises yeah. too? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's so cute. Can I touch her? Yeah, please do. They have really thick hairs and they have guard hairs up here that allows them to swim in cold water throughout the year around in North America. And they can shake it off and it doesn't penetrate. You see how thick that is sure. under there? It doesn't penetrate to their skin and make them all cold. Oh my gosh, look at that tail. Touch it. Whoa. What does it feel like? Like sandpaper or, or like uh, something very rough. When yeah, you... like it almost feels like bark, I think. Yes, like yeah, that's exactly right. And they use that's their, intense. they use this paddle not only as like a rudder when they're swimming, but they also use it to pat down mud when they're trying to cement down their uh, dams that they're making, which is the, the last thing I want to talk about how cool they are. So they are actually some of the top architects in the wild kingdom. They build these incredible dam structures right. and can uh, take down an entire tree and drag it through the water. And then they take mud and they use their paddle in their hands See how they have five fingers? Yes. They use that to construct these dams That's that incredible. have I've multiple seen. rooms. They have chimneys. They have really? a back door and a front door. Chimneys? It's, yeah, to release heat. That's They've, amazing. I don't know how they thought of that, but they're very smart animals, That's aren't they? That's incredible. And you have one more for <laughs> us? I do. We have one more. That's okay. amazing. Okay, so we are going oh. bit to feed the mini horse here. I mean, this is a mini horse. Yeah. Do you want to take the bottle yes, and I just would. keep it raised up? Okay. Okay. Hi. So this is a mini horse, and uh, it's obviously a very adorable. She's like three months old, oh my and gosh. she won't get much bigger, uh, according to many associations that are uh, that regulate how big they can be to be called a mini horse. They can only be 34 inches from this point on. So uh, 34 inches is the max, and then you can actually call it a mini horse. It's mesmerizing. I can't even believe it. And they're also, they live a really long time, like much lar longer than larger horses. They live like 30 years. Are you kidding? Yeah. A beautiful animal. Stephanie, it's so great to see you. So good to Thank see you. Thank you too. so, so much.